Let's see how the connection works between the slab and the ceiling as architectural elements. In order to understand the theory of the connection between these, I will represent on this simple model. The model has a ground floor and one floor level. Both floors have slabs. Ceiling commands are available on the ribbon bar, building, ceiling tab. From these, choose the grid auto ceiling command. Move the cursor over the floor plan above the room. And when something similar to a spider web appears, place the ceiling with one click. The ceiling is created. On the floor plan, its floor plan symbol appear, depending on the settings we are working with. The 3D window shows that this is an additional structure to be added to the architectural structure. We will customize this later. The slab and the ceiling are two separate elements. You can also create a ceiling without the slab and create a slab without a ceiling. But you can use both at the same time during the work. Activate the floor plan window and go to the first level. Use the previous method to place a ceiling, but now choose the plane auto ceiling command. The model shows that the command creates this type of ceiling. There wasn't need for supporting structure above. Obviously, this ceiling can be also customized. So I will show it on another project now. The downloaded project is a bank building with several separate office spaces, as well as hall, lounges and other rooms. Choose a view further so we can track changes well. The floor plan window is active. To make the floor plan and the model to easily look through, close the furniture and plant layers. The quickest way is to use the layer walk feature. Click on the quick 3D model button to rebuild the 3D content. Place ceilings. Click on the ceiling command. There we can choose between two ceiling types. The first group is related to the plane ceiling. The other group is to the grid ceiling. Select the first command of the grid ceiling group, then click in the middle of the selected room on the floor plan. The ceiling is created. Switch to a closer view, so you can see better the recently placed ceiling. The second command is for drawing a customized contour around the room, so we determine the outline of the room. Here only a certain part of the room will be covered, the rest which is outside the contour will be left out. The third command automatically creates ceiling for all rooms but we will see an example later on. The plane ceiling commands work on the same principle. Select the plane ceiling by polygon command for the kitchen and draw the contour of the room. In this case, I drew a straight line between the two points and then convert it to a curve. 